So what is good people? Welcome to another investing video. In this video, we are continuing our investing $1 a day series. This time we are in episode 19, which means we need to have $133 invested into each asset. So starting things off with metals, uh, as you can see up here, things do not look great for metals. It is currently on its way down. If we look at our total investment, we have $58.44 invested into gold, $72.28 invested into silver for a total investment of $130.72. If we actually look at the value of that investment, our gold investment is down to $57.59. Silver is down to $69.15 for a total value of $126.74. So if we have a look at the chart, we can see that silver jumped up briefly and then it came back down. There's a little bit of an uptick there at the end, but still it is uh, too far down for us to be in profit. You can see that gold did a very similar change, but um, not as drastic as silver, where it kind of dipped down, went up, and then came back down. So if we look at the difference between the investments and the value, we can see that the um, the gold is down by um, not much, uh, almost a dollar. Silver, however, is looking closer to about three dollars down, which is uh. It's just not too bad. It's still not where I'd want to be, but $3 is not really that big of a deal when you have a total investment of over $72. So it looks like um, we are at a point where we can make another investment. Yeah, we had a 130. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back into gold. Um, just from looking at the chart, gold just holds much steadier than silver does. When silver swings, it has much larger swings than gold, which means, you know, obviously there's a much higher upside and a much higher risk. But gold just kind of sits, it's just more stable. It's so much more stable than silver. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm put another 20 bucks into gold and then I'm going to jump back into the recording. All right, so I am back. We can see that our total investment is now uh, 149.92, so almost 150 even. And we can see a jump up with gold right here. And it was uh, $22.45, which gave me an extra $20 in gold. So a little bit of a premium, but not much. So that is, um, I think that's the route. I'm probably going to go for a little bit. I'll probably continue to jump into gold uh, just because of how stable it is. And then maybe when I see silver do some uh, something a little more stable, then I might jump back into silver. But for now, I'm going to be mostly sticking with gold. However, since that was a $20 um, deposit, it's going to be a while. It's going to be another few episodes before we get back into gold. But that is where we are sitting at right now with metals. Let's jump into stocks. So um, apparently something went wrong. Let's reload the page. So if we look at our uh, weekly numbers, we can see that we're pretty much breaking even. We're down by 0.22%, so not even uh, a full percentage. If we look at AVAX, uh, so crypto still has not really recovered from that big uh, Bitcoin crash. You can see we are down by 5.78%. Um, actually, we're going down even further. I think Bitcoin is down to like around 25000 right now it hasn't been doing well and so crypto um overall is not doing well right now however we jump into our actual stocks we can see starward property trusts we are up by 0.36 percent so basically breaking even total return is three dollars and sixty cent which is a 20 percent return that is actually really really nice there Analysis is still at a 87% buy and a 12% hold. And looks like uh, we did get a stock lending payment of one cent. So that was, uh, it's not bad. Just, well, it's a cent. It's not much, but it's still, still free money. 
and um, no uh, no dividend payments since July 17. So we did get a little extra money from uh, stock lending. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that works. I may have to look into that just to just to figure out how we can get the most money from stock lending. Probably if I have multiple stocks, I'd be able to make a little bit more than just one cent. If we jump into Armour Residential REIT, you can see that we are up by 1.23%. Our overall return is we're down by 71 cents, which is 3.34%. If we look at our history, we can see that we also got a stock lending payment from our residential REIT, and that's also just one cent. So um, it looks like even though we have um, how many shares? We got four shares. So we got over four shares, but we still only got one cent. So maybe it's like one cent per share when you're lending. Not entirely sure how that works. I'll have to look into it. Uh, we, of course, still have our um, dividend reinvestment from August 30th into the month last month. Nothing else new there. So pretty much breaking even there up by just a little bit. EOG resources. So we are down by 2.82%, but our overall return is still $5.95 for a total profit of 14.86%. So we're doing really well with EOG resources. We can see that the analysis has dropped um, quite a bit. It's down to 79% of a buy and a 20% hold. So it's not doing well um, lately. I'll have to jump into the news and see what's going on with EOG. But if we look at the history, we can see that um, we haven't really had anything since July, which was the um, uh, dividend reinvestment. That was pretty much it. That was the last thing we've done since July. This isn't a monthly REIT like the others or a monthly paying dividend like some of the others that I have. So there's not going to be a lot of activity on it. Plus it's over $130 per share and we are only investing $1 a day. So yeah, we're not going to do much movement here with EOG, but I will have to look into the news and see what's going on with the analysis. If we jump into QYLD, so we are up by 0.46%, basically breaking even. If we look at our total return, we are down by 61 cents, which is 1.23%. So not really a big difference there. Uh, we did have a dividend payment back at the end of last month, August 29th, which was of course um, reinvested. And our last week move was to put $7 into this. So we are at, let's see, we are at 2.78 shares so if i put another seven dollars into this that will put us at three shares and that will be that'll be good for now i'll be happy with having three full shares i didn't see any stock lending uh no stock lending payment not sure if this qualifies for stock lending once again i'll have to do some research to figure that out but our move for this week will still be to put seven dollars into um qild and then we will finally have the full up. I got to hold on. Let me put my password in. All right. So went ahead and bought the um, or put in the market order for seven dollars. So that will put us over the three shares and then I'll feel good there. Then we can stop buying Q, uh, QILD for a little bit and start jumping back into EOG after I take a look at it and see what's happening there. But that's pretty much it for stocks. Uh, pretty much breaking even. Nothing really big. Uh, not moving in either direction very far. So breaking even there. All right. Jumping into crypto. So if we check out Dex Finance. Check out our US Dex stake. Um, I don't expect much of a difference here. Oh, website's not loading. Don't expect things to change much just as long as US Dex. Yep. We're still at 33. 93 here so about 14 dollars we are still sitting at 14 percent apr 
And we have earned $1.58 in US DEX plus a principal release of 50 cent. So yeah, this isn't really moving much. Um, and since I can't really put any more into it, I'm not expecting it to do anything. But as long as it still exists and it's still earning some interest, that's the good thing. Jumping into DEX vaults, we are in our bull run bandit vault. And we can see that the APY is down to 5.77%, which is still 0.02%, same as last week. TVL is still uh, 5.7 thousand, so not much has changed there. If we take a look at the performance, we can see that, um, when was my last deposit? It was, for some reason it doesn't show deposits over here again, but, I think this was my last deposit. This jump must have been that. And so as you can see from my last deposit, nothing has really changed. It's just kind of flat. Um, the, the price of both Bitcoin and Ethereum has not changed much. We are still down from that big crash. So I'm not expecting much of a change there. Um, I am going to continue to put money into this until uh, Bitcoin goes back to 30,000. I don't know how long that's going to take. It usually takes like maybe a month, um, maybe a month and a half whenever we get a crash. So expect me, I can expect to keep putting $7 in for at least another month before Bitcoin goes back to normal. But before we do that, I do want to jump into uh, KuCoin to check out crypto lending. We can see that we are still at um, uh, just 20 something dollars. We're down to, we're actually down, I think, I can't remember where we were last week, but it was at 20 something. We're about 26 now. I'll have to look back at the previous video. However, we did make about two cents last week or yesterday, actually, about two cents, which is not too bad. Total earning of 75 cents. So the actual value of the crypto that we're lending, which is the Axie Infinity token, it is still down from the big crash. Um, couple, I think it's been a couple weeks now, right? A couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. So it's um, the actual overall value of the pool is not doing well. However, I am still earning a lot of interest, as you can see, still getting multiple people borrowing my crypto each and every day. And every single time, even though they only borrow it for a couple hours, they still have to pay an interest on it. So I'm still earning interest uh, every couple hours, which is nice. Of course, I will not be putting any more money into this until um, I'm done putting money into the bull run bandit just because we can only do a dollar a day so i can only put in seven dollars each episode but i'm going to go ahead and put seven dollars into this i'm gonna cut that and then jump back into the recording all right the deposit has been made you can see the uh, deposit view up here i can check out the deposit if i want to but we are currently at $62.90 invested into the Bull Run Bandit. So that is going to be our crypto play for the week. And we can see a nice little jump up right there for how much we have in the total pool. All right. So overall, um, crypto, just like last week, it is the actual value of some of my investments are down. However, the interest rate that I'm earning is pretty high. It's pretty consistent. That has not changed. But all in all, I would say I'm still down on crypto until Bitcoin gets back to 30,000. So we will see how long that takes. If we go back into stocks, everything was pretty much breaking even into stocks. I do have some, um, some stock lending stock lending payments came in but only two cents uh there was just two stocks that i received some lending fees on i'll have to get into that to see how i can maximize that and get more than just one cent we'll see but overall we're kind of just breaking even on stocks and with um with metals we are down by about four dollars in metals uh, metals is not doing great however it's um I mean, it's doing fine, you know, just down by $4 when I've put $150 into it.
four dollars really isn't that big of a difference but we are still down nonetheless in metals so that is pretty much it for this week um let me know what you guys think in the comments below as always if there is some investments that you want me to check out a lot of people are talking about the new arm ipo which is coming out uh wednesday um, I'm not a big fan of IPOs, so I probably won't jump into that, but I'm still going to take a look at it just to see what it does. But that is uh, pretty much it. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.